The snow began here this morning and all day continued, it's white rhetoric everywhere, calling us back to why, how, when such beauty and what the meaning, such an oracular fever, flowing past windows, an energy it seemed would never ebb, never settle less than lovely, and only now, deep into night, it has finally ended. The silence is immense, and the heavens still hold a million candles, nowhere the familiar things. Stars, the moon, the darkness we expect and nightly turn from. Trees glitter like castles of ribbons, the broad fields smoulder with light, a passing creek bed lies heaped with shining hills. And though the questions that have assailed us all day remain, not a single answer has been found. Walking out now, into the silence and the light, under the trees, and through the fields, fields like one. made by so many different animals beautiful perfect white soft snow and the print so clearly taking us on a journey somewhere taking us on their journeys showing us where they've been and where they're going all these little creatures who share these fields but we never see until it snows i think these prints are hair prints but um, there's foxes, deer, badger, house cat, all sorts of things living down here. So. straight in front of me it was too late to get my camera out. It was a real shame because it looked absolutely fantastic in the snow and it made an excellent painting. I was just thinking I might put my wildlife camera out again and it might be able to capture some some good footage of them that I can not only share but use as 
my own references and my drawings rather than other people's references. So I'm out of breath because it is a very steep walk up through these fields, especially when there's snow on the ground. It does make you very breathless. <laughs> but it's incredibly beautiful. It feels more like Christmas than March. That's usually the way. On a more serious note, I wanted to touch on the subject of nature conservation. I have just included a very small snapshot of all the life living right outside my front door, but this life is threatened. I remember reading the animals of Farthing Wood as a child and feeling such sadness that the relentless spread of concrete should drive out all life from a place until nothing is left. All the wildlife you see here is on the edge of urban development, 
Concrete is less than 100 metres from these cameras. But life is resilient, it will find a way to thrive anywhere it can. But the constant roll of the development machine that leaves no room for life of any kind spreads ever on, eating everything in its path. I'm only touching on this today, but these small snapshots I'm showing you in this video is happening in my village. Many thousands of houses in all directions eating everything in its path. Not even room for hedgerows or a single tree to give food and shelter to a wandering bumblebee. I hate to end on such a sad note, but I don't know what else to do but to spread awareness. After all, I believe this destruction is due to ignorance. I don't believe anybody wishes to destroy anything. I think they just assume that life within can move elsewhere, if they consider the life at all. Thank you for watching this today, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.